welcome to our Stowe Talks how-to series. I am Abby Jones, a solicitor at Stowe Family Law, and in this video we will look at how to represent yourself in the family court. Going to family court can be daunting, especially when you do not have legal representation. This video focuses on how to prepare for your hearing, what will happen during the hearing, and some tips on how to manage the hearing to make it less stressful. It covers all types of family court hearings, if you're looking for specific information on financial and children hearings, you'll find videos covering these topics at www.stowfamilylaw.co.uk forward slash support. This video does not cover the law and it is strongly recommended that you seek legal advice from a family lawyer. If you represent yourself at court, you are known as a litigant in person. Hearings can be held virtually or in person and this advice in this video covers both. You can make an application to the court by finding the appropriate form you need from the government website and completing this as fully as possible. For example, a children matter can be started on a C100 form. There is usually the option to complete the form online or by post. However, these forms can be complicated, so it's always best to seek legal advice before submitting an application. Going to court is daunting, so it is good to make sure you are well prepared to help reduce your anxiety and any unexpected issues along the way. For example, make sure you have all of your documents organised and within easy reach or access on your device. Summarise your key points and what you want to achieve into one document and so you are clear in your thinking. Ensure you are appropriately dressed. No one expects a three-piece suit, but dress smartly. Plan your travel route and timings to help reduce stress on the day. Even consider doing a trial run. Practice what you want to say, out loud to a family member or friend if possible. Organise any childcare if needed, as you cannot bring your children with you. Arrange for a friend or family member to come with you. They cannot go into the hearing unless pre-approved by the court, however they can sit outside and support you whilst you wait and afterwards. It is important to arrive at the court building in plenty of time to pass through security and then locate the clerk's desk to let them know you've arrived. They will then inform you of which courtroom your case will be heard in. A virtual hearing is just as important as an in-person hearing and you should prepare for them in the same way. On the day of the hearing it's important that you are in a quiet and private location where you will not be overheard or interrupted. Make sure you choose the space well in advance of the hearing and make arrangements for any childcare if appropriate. It is also important that you attest the device that you are using well in advance of the hearing to ensure that it is compatible and working correctly. A test link can be found on the same email with the link for the hearing. Practicing logging on will allow you to be confident that you can access the hearing smoothly. On the day of the hearing, make sure you get your equipment set up and all of your paperwork arranged and with you in good time so you're logged on and ready to go. You will be expected to speak to the court at the hearing and explain to the court what you are applying for and why. If you are the applicant, the person who made the application, then you will speak first. And if you are the respondent or the person responding to the application, then you will speak second. The court may have some questions about your application and it's important that these are carefully answered with clear, factual responses and be honest at all times. If not, the court may sanction you. Even if it is something you are worried about, it is best to get it into the open at the earliest opportunity, together with a detailed explanation. Family judges have seen and heard it all. Emotions can run high during the hearing, but it is important that you remain calm at all times. Unpleasant words or outbursts will not impress the court. Instead, focus on being polite to everyone involved, whatever your true feelings. Do not interrupt the judge, however much you want to speak out. You will get your chance to talk. Throughout the hearing, you must ensure that you understand what's happening and in particular, any order the court makes. If you don't, it is fine to ask the court to explain and give you further clarification on what is happening. After the hearing, if there is a legal representative for the other party, they usually will take the lead in preparing the court order. This is a reflection of what has happened, along with a recording of all the directions the court has decided and a timeline. They should then send this to you for your agreement. If there is no legal representatives in the hearing, the court itself will deal with drawing up the order and they will send you the final version. 
If the case has not been settled, the court will set a date for the next hearing and will usually give you some actions to complete before. The importance of legal advice. It is important to speak to a family lawyer, as going to the family court can be complicated and difficult to manage. A family lawyer will help you complete the application, prepare correctly, and ensure all of the information you need is gathered together and easily accessible. They can help you fully understand and engage with the court process at each stage, the complex language used, and complete any additional documents such as statements in certain timeframes. Your lawyer will help you understand what is expected of you so you can present your case well. This can help dial down the stress so you can approach the hearings with the information and support you need to make well-informed decisions from a calm and measured place. For more Stowe Talks, how-to videos and further free resources, visit www.stowefamilylaw.co.uk forward slash support. <laughs>